Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the This Is Bodybuilding Podcast. We're here with Michael Bryson and Gregory Ulissi. And uh, we're gonna do a preview of the upcoming Tampa Pro, one of the big shows uh, coming up before the Olympia. Uh, it's coming up this weekend. This weekend Again, yeah, it's yeah. a really big show, Greg. It's a you. I mean, like we said, that show will be huge. And just to see, I remember when I saw the list, it was never ending names. Yeah. It gave me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> there's 18 guys in it, and there's a lot of it's 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 there's some interesting names. For uh, even in um in 212, too, there's some interesting names, which uh, I'll, I'll get we'll get to that after the men's okay. open. But I'll name these guys on the list uh, of competitors for the men's open. Um, again, I'll probably butcher some of their names. Uh, <laughs> Salvo Bed Bednar from the Czech Republic, Max Charles, Jeffet Sharonfat. Okay. He's actually from Maryland, but I, I, maybe he's from someplace before. <laughs> Philip Klahar, Camilo Diaz, Mohamed El Iman is doing oh, this show, God. even though I think he's tops in points. But no, uh, no, no, no. he's doing it. Uh, Douglas uh, Furchie. Frucci, perhaps is how it's pronounced. Uh, mm -hmm. Aaron Gawley, probably mispronouncing that. Charles Griffin, big name. Dorian yeah. Haywood, this is an interesting name. Kevin Jordan. Back uh, on the I'm not going to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, he's, he's got a great physique. If he, if he, well, we'll get to him. Uh, Matt Kuba. Yes. Uh, Seng Chow Lee. Uh, so, yeah, Rick. okay, yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. Good. Uh, Justin Mackey, Mohammed Shaban again, uh, mm -hmm. Joel Thomas making a return. Uh, he's got some really cool body parts, amazing arms. Yeah. Um, Ian Valier and Keith Williams, another interesting name. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, I wasn't expecting to see him competing this year. Um, Right away, the names that kind of jump off the page to me are Max Charles, mm -hmm. Mohammed El Iman, uh, Charles Griffin, Kevin Jordan. If he's if he's he can do damage. If he's yeah, I, I, just, I don't know what he's gonna look like because we haven't okay. seen him. Um, Shaban, of course, Mohammed Shaban, and Ian Valier, who I. I'm going to go out on the line and say that I think the top two will probably be Ian and Max. Um, possibly Charles. Possibly Charles. You know what? Um, I'm not going to talk about Ian first. Charles is a dark horse because he made a lot of improvements. We'll see. Because I, I, I saw an interview with him and Von Harris yesterday, and he seemed pretty confident. Body's good and all that. He's with Matt Jensen. Yeah. Uh, Max, you know what? Um, Max also. You know what I see? I'll tell you. I see. Because remember what we did last that la in the last one. Uh, we put Rolly first, and Rolly, Rolly fought. I mean, didn't win. Ian should win that show, but it's not going to be a cakewalk because there's there's good guys there. I mean, guys that are that can be can do damage. Um, yeah. I would say Max, um, Charles, Mohammed Shaban, who I'm telling you, this guy has an amazing year. Yeah, an amazing year, and I give him props because to be able to do all these shows, because we are, and to be able to be in there all the time. And I think he made first call out in all the shows. I think so. Yeah. Okay. It's a testament to him. Um, what I'm surprised, Asan Mustafa is not doing the show. Yes. Uh, if I look at points, the point system, well, actually, as I was telling you, the Olympia folks uh, did not update the point standings since Chicago Pro. But... Um, the top two before Chicago Pro were Mohamed El Iman, 
and Hassan Mustafa, both with 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hassan is, I'm sure, in, in the Olympia. Uh, I'm pretty sure. sure. Uh, and, and, and in third was is Mohammed Shaban, or at least he was then. I guess he's, who knows? I mean, I how many points, I don't know how many points he got at the at Chicago, but. Um, I think Chicago, uh, I think Chicago, hold on. Because second place is eight. Because it goes eight, seven, six, five, four. So he finished what, fourth? So probably eight, seven, six. 14, so he's, yeah. Okay, so he's, he's in, he's in. yeah, he'll be in, I'm sure. And I'm sure he's going to do well this time too. You, yeah, he, I became a, I'm a, I, I, I liked his physique before, but I'm a real big fan of him now. Um, he's gotten really, really good. This was a huge, huge season. A huge year for him, yeah, a huge year. I mean, this year, I mean, I mean, I always give, Props to guys that are able to maintain condition all the way through because for people who don't know, it is hard. It yeah. is hard. It is hard as hell. People think it's easy because people say, you know what, guys should compete. People do not understand how hard it is to maintain mentally that kind of condition all the time. It's very hard. Very, very hard. And he maintained. He, he was probably his worst and not that it was bad on his first show of the season. Uh, and he's gotten better. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, he, yeah he's great. Um, Max Charles to me, uh, he did really well in Chicago. He, he placed third in Chicago, correct? Yeah. Third. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, I had him by go. I was, I thought that he was going to be second after prejudging. Um, but his third place was, uh, I was fine with him placing third. I thought Brett looked great and deserved second. Um, but he looked good. So just a little sharper in the glutes and hamstrings. He's very dangerous because from the front, man, he is crazy good and looks super hard and shredded. He looks like he's carved out of granite when he's just standing there in front relaxed. One of the best Absolutely front relaxes yeah. oh, ever. Yeah. For sure, like, the he's, the only one that he's the only one that... When they say relax, like he looks like he's not relaxed, like everything yeah. is tense. You know? His abs are chiseled. I mean, for such a big guy, he's big. He's wide across the shoulders. He's got enormous delts, um, but tiny waist for a guy his, his, of his weight. I think he's in the 270s. On yeah, stage. He's a big, he's a big, big he's guy. A big yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. yeah, I like him a lot. I, I, but Ian Valier, um, I mean, he's just been coming on strong. Every year he gets better and better and better. And uh, from what you see on Instagram, it looks like he's made even more improvements. Uh, he's going to be big. He's going to be, if he's as big as I think he's going to be and as shredded as I think he's going to be, I, this is his show. It's his show to lose. Um, he's a guy who's going to, he's got all it takes to be a top, you know, top placer in the Olympia if he wins the show. Yeah. And for sure, because remember last year, Tempo was not good for him last year. So probably he wants to ask him to forget the Tempo debacle of last year when he was him against Hunter and Tempo did not do good for him by second, remember? And yeah. No, I mean, Ian, you know what? Ian is a, a thinking man, bodybuilder. Like he comes in, everything is thought of, everything is planned. And, it, and you know it's going to be big. It's going to be in shape. So, I mean, you know what? To me, he's an Olympian, as you know, he's an Olympian and a big one, at it, as a matter of fact. Yeah. He's going to be hard to beat. It's yeah, going to be very hard to beat. Very hard to beat. Uh, Charles Griffin has got some of the best biceps I've ever seen. Um, if his abdomen is in, you know, his, he sort of like reminds me of like, uh, again, like um, maybe I'm off with this, but I said this about John Jewett in the past, although I think he's improved. Mm -hmm. The abs are sort of Boyer Co. like in that they're not deeply etched, really. I don't know. That's just mine. No, you know what? I know what you're saying. Because you know what? He's 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 so big off top, shoulders and arm. His back is insane. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's, he, oh, he's great. You know what? If his legs have improved, that could be problems for a lot of people. Yeah, a and lot of with, people. With Matt Jansen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think so. That's that's my take on who's the probable top three are um, 
Ian, Max, and Charles. Probably, possibly in that order. I think Ian's going to win, I think. But like we saw last week, or no, whatever, we don't know. really, it's hard to have predict. Yeah. Um, Kevin Jordan is someone who I really like his physique. If he can come in hard and, and, and full, he's got a good looking physique. I, I like mm-hmm. him a lot. Hope he does well. I remember when Kevin when Kevin turned pro, he had a great upper body. I remember people like saying that he looked like Phil a bit upper body wise, but his legs were never like never matched his upper body. So now I be, I think he's been off compete for about two, two or three years now. If he was able to make it, make the match, he's a, he's a great physique, very great physique, round muscle bellies, big arms, he's very good, and very white too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, and Mohammed Shvan. So he's probably Mohammed's probably in my top four for this show, um, but Kevin could be a surprise. Um, yeah. Anything else that you want to add about the men's open? But you know what? There's a, there's a lot of guys like you know like there's, there's Dorian Hayward that's that's coming back. Dorian did great in the beginning of the year, and then he faded a bit, and I and, and you know he shut it down, and then he came back. You know he's a big guy. I mean, Dorian's good. Me, yeah, yeah. He's got uh, eight points so far in the uh, point system too. But he's down a ways from one, two, three, four. There were before Chicago five people ahead of him. Um, okay, and okay. So, but I, and I don't know what happened after Chicago because, like I said, the Olympia folks haven't updated the scores as yet. Um, I mean, I just don't know why that is. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. That in the mean, modern age of uh, the internet, uh, why it isn't uh, done like this for at least the Monday following? I don't know. It's like fans care about this stuff. So you know, the athletes care. I mean, as, okay, you know what? As an athlete, if if I'm going out to these shows and I'm placing, I'd like to know where my points are. Right. So they exactly like, they want to know what their standings are. Exactly. For sure. For sure. For sure. If I'm close or whatever, I need to know. For sure. Not to mention their fans want to know. So, yeah. Hmm. So let's move on to the 212. Um, oh, I'm in men's classic here. 212. Okay. Um, Again, good show. great show and a lot of people one two three well i'll name them all no i won't because i can't pronounce them all but <laughs> i'll try um esteban alejandro fuquain bravo from colombia okay. i got at least three of those names right uh, <laughs> casey castro yes. here's a very interesting name aaron clark yes yes i guess yeah Returning former, yeah. former New York Pro uh, 212 champion 212, from I yeah, think 2015 or something. 14. 2014. 2014. 14, 14. Oh, one of them. It was one of yeah, them. 14. But man, he, he, man, when he started out, it looked like that guy's future was oh my god, just golden. Uh, oh yeah. my god, I remember at that show. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kareth uh, Bajo Bio. Who placed third, I think, in Chicago, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Very good. Very First call out guy. Yeah. Uh, guy Sister Nino. Glad mm-hmm. to see him there. Another interesting name. Charles Curtis. Yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. Guy, guy Sister Nino, I had winning that uh, New York Pro that, uh, that Aaron Clark like, won. Oh, so, really? Yeah. And, and guy that. won two New York Pro 212s. He's really. In the history of the 212s, Guy Sister Nino is one of the greats. And yeah, if he yeah. brings it again, I mean, he can he can shock people. Uh, I wouldn't be too shocked if he did really, really well. Uh, Sealy Cruz, don't yes, know him. Okay. Charles Curtis, Joey Decaminata, Decaminata, Decaminata. Okay. Uh, Ahmed El Sadani. El Sadani. Yeah, 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 yeah. Derek Farnsworth. Another yes, interesting name to see. Another Derek name, yeah, yeah. Glad to see him back. Um, I, think his, his, I think his girlfriend is doing female bodybuilding. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ahmed Fazi. Fazi. Yeah. Oswaldo Gonzalez. Jason Herbert. Herbert. 
John Jewett. Yes. Uh, who, wow, he just keeps on going. Um, I think he's already qualified by points. He's qualified by him, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I think he has 19 uh, points or something, yeah. Kevin Johnson, Austin Carr, who is a very good yeah, bodybuilder. Very good, very good body, yeah. He is a very good bodybuilder. And yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he does damage here. Um, Bo Lewis, another. Yes, uh, another watch out. Genetically gifted in more uh, ways than one. <laughs> Bo Lewis. Um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest guy on stage, no matter if they might be 12, all of them, but he's bigger. Uh, Jason Lowe, good bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah. I like Jason a lot. Milton Martinez, Darius Milton, David Robinson, friend of ours, Johnny Shree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Returning. That's great to see him back on, on stage. Uh, Shane Stort, Jose Suarez. Charlie Williams and Wayne Williams. Um, There's a lot of names in there. A lot of names. I mean, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, two, three, four, five, 26 guys. 26 guys. Division. Division 12. It's crazy. Uh, That's great. You though. know what? Uh, this, show, this show has got like, um, it doesn't have every division in it. But it has many of the divisions, or does it have every division? No, it doesn't have. Yeah, 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 it, does. yeah it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not only that, they're having masters divisions. Masters divisions, yeah, yeah. The point of forty and over. Yeah. So that's it's going to be, and it's stacked. So many of these um, lists, not for the men's open or men's two twelve, but almost all the other ones. Um, except for fitness, I think, and um, and bodybuilding, women's bodybuilding. They're like two. Yeah. Sheets, the 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 there's too yeah, many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a long show. Long show um, for sure. So the names that jump off the page to me here, and I don't know how good they'll all be, but they're like my favorites uh, in the show. I would love to see Aaron Clark do well. Guy Sister Nino. Uh, I'd love to see Derek Farnsworth do well. He's smaller than a lot of the guys. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. I like his physique. Um, John Jewett, I think, is going to do very well. Austin Carr, Bo yeah. Lewis, um, Jason Lowe. Jason Lowe. And I would love to see Johnny Shreve bring it, you know? You know what? If, if I had to go, like, really fast, not because, you know what? Bo could win. Bo can win. Bo can, Bo can win. win. I mean, Bo can Austin win. Austin Carr can win the show. Austin Clark can win too. I was about to say, because remember, Austin got second to uh, Keon last year at Chicago. Yes, in a very, very close. Very good show. second. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, does, Austin could win. Yeah. Oh God. If I have to pick, if I had to pick someone, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If I had, hmm. I think I would pick Austin Carr. John Jewett, Bo Lewis, and Jason Lowe are, Jason my, Lowe. Top, are my top guys. Uh, uh, so that's John Jewett, Bo, Austin, and Jason. That's my top four. And I would love to see, oh, I would love to see Guy Sister Nino in there as well. But we'll, we'll, you know what? With You know what, Guy, what I think? Um, at his last show, here's what I saw, and I was hearing, and I and I was hearing about Jose Raymond said the same thing. I think that his shoulder injury doesn't help, doesn't like enable him to do certain poses. Mm -hmm. So that's why you know, remember, okay, because I'm going like that. Guy was in a show in Puerto Rico, right, and he and he got second in a field that is way weaker than the one we're going now. This field is strong. Because if, if we look at it, I think that the 212 is more competitive than the Open. This In show. a way. Yes, I think so. Because if you look at, if you look at uh, the Open, here's one guy that we're saying is most likely going to win. Exactly. exactly. This show, there's like three, four guys who 
Oh, there's this. three or four guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can actually, you know what? Um, it's going to be a tough battle. I mean, you said Joe, Bo, uh, John Jewett, and all that. It's going to be very hard because they're all so different. They're all different. And I mean, you know what? Probably, I, I'm saying that Steve is going to make him work very hard. Yeah. I hope these guys are ready to pose because, bro, they're going to pull their ass off for yes. sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But I, I like that. your choice of Austin Carr. I like your choice. Austin Carr, I like your choice. I like it. I mean, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's my pick, but, you know, I'm not saying that it's written in stone, but because Bo Lewis is really good and so is John Jewett. And, and Jason Lowe just kind of missed it the last show. Um, Jason Lowe, when I look at Jason Lowe, and, and I like Jason Lowe a lot as a, as a, as a dude. <laughs> I like his physique, but I kind of want to, I personally would like, but I, you know, it's everyone's yeah. own prerogative to compete where they are and how they want to compete. But I think mm -hmm. he's tall enough that if he were to add some more muscle, I think his physique might serve him better in open, but he has um, to add It could, you know what? You, okay. You know, you run in that case, or you know what now, because it could be, because I think he's 5'8". Yeah. He's five eight. It's five eight. Yeah, it's five eight. Um, his, I think the way he sees it, probably in his mind, and I can understand, he could probably be great at two twenty. But then you're like two twenty. Am I giving up too much size for the open? Yeah. And and at, and under that, I mean, you're like like a tweener. You're in between. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. That's where I kind of see him. Um, but if he bring, you know, if he comes into the show super shredded and undeniable, he can do really, really well. Did he uh, win last year? To, did he win last year show? Yeah. What's that? Did he win last year show? I think he won last year show. I think like he did. Bo. Or Bo won. I think he did. Or Bo he beat him. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah, the top two. Here. They were top yeah, two. I remember that. I remember. So, I remember yeah. I, remember that. I mean, Jason's very good. I, 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 he, but he's going to have to bring really good conditioning to beat uh, some of these guys. Like uh, John Jewett's going to be shredded. Austin, oh, sure. Carr, Austin is, uh, he can get in really great condition and he's very complete as a bodybuilder. Body flows his great. Legs are, legs are, his legs are phenomenal. Uh, uh, you know what it, you know it is? I mean, his legs are open size legs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a guy, he's a guy who I could see definitely do it open somewhere down the road. For sure, yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's really, really good. Another division before uh, we'll talk about all the divisions, but one that I think is um, as interesting as these. If Aaron Clark looks like he, he did in twenty fifteen, he can do serious damage too. Uh, but I think Aaron's last show, if I remember, he got short, but I got to remember the show he did. He looked good. He looked good. I mean, you know what? Aaron looked good. I mean, Aaron looked actually pretty good. Thank God for it. I remember. I saw. I remember. I, for, I, just, I just forgot the show that he was in, but he got for it. I remember that. Um, another show that I think, or division of the show that I think is uh, very impressive in terms of its name, it name power, the, the names that are mm -hmm. in the show, um, is the Bikini Division. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, this is like watching an Arnold Classic or um, the Olympia, but with way more girls. There's a ton of girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's like, there's like 40 girls in the show. I'm, I, I won't count. Oh, wow. But there's like 40 girls. Um, <laughs> and there's three girls in particular who are so good one of them is a Miss Olympia, 2019 yes. Miss Olympia, um, yes, yes, yes. Elsa Pacini, who is already qualified for the Olympia via being a Miss Olympia. She's qualified for life. Uh, Laura Lee Chapatos, am I pronouncing yes, that right? Yes, yes. perfect, she, perfect, yeah, yeah. She, um, she won the Chicago Pro with, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, one of the best bikini physiques I've ever seen. Honestly, 
I thought she looked amazing. She's already qualified. She is in the show. Also in the show is a girl who placed second in the Olympia last year. It's unfortunate for her that the bikini division doesn't have the top five of the Olympia qualifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's one of the best I've seen as well, and that's Jennifer Dory. Dory, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, who is phenomenal, and and I, you know, since I would talk about that. You know, I understand not letting the top five of some divisions qualify for the Olympia when there's so many shows for them during the course of the year to qualify in. But I think the top three of every division, if you want a, a, a medal at the Olympia, if you win a bronze medal at the Olympia, you should be qualified for next year. That's just, I don't know. I mean, you know what? I agree, you know what? I agree with you on that. I mean, um, there should be an incentive. I mean, top three, they, you should they, go. They, yeah. yeah. You give a pro yeah. card to the girls who finished second, not even in the overall, but in their class um, in like the USA's or nationals or North Americans or universe, they get, if they're getting a pro card, someone who gets third in the Olympia, I think should get a pass to the next year's Olympia. Anyway. Which I think so too. Which I think so too. I mean, um, I understand the rule a bit because probably they're saying, you know what, there's so many opportunities for them to yeah. be able to qualify. But, but in another event, on another side, I mean, you're top three in the world. That yeah. should mean something. Right. And I mean, That's top five, I can understand you saying, okay, not the top five, yeah, yeah. but top three. But top three, uh, yeah. I mean, fair. at any rate, at any rate, there's a lot of girls. I'm not going to mention all their names. I'm just going to mention those three girls' names because they're the three that I think uh, are going to be the top three. And any one of those three could win this show. And any one of those three could be the 20. 21 Ms. Olympia, they're all that oh, good. For sure. Oh, they're all that good. I mean, I mean, you got two girls that got second at the Olympia and went for another. You got the reigning chef. And anytime, anytime the reigning Mr. Olympia goes into a show or the Olympia, it's a good thing. Because normally, it's strictly speaking, the Olympia champion never comes out. Well, she's not the reigning Miss Olympia. Okay. She won in 2019. 2019, uh, True, true, true. For sure, for sure. Right. See, you're right, Janet. Yeah, and Janet, yeah, Janet decided to uh to to retire or whatever. But uh, you're right. But she's a Miss Olympia. Yes. So she, I guess, you know? is the most recent. Janet retired. Is that correct? I, I she made a she made a speech saying that she's not competing this year. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but... yeah she's not competing. Uh. So she's not competing. So yeah, I think, so I'm going to go out and say one of these three girls will, well, we'll definitely one of these three girls will win the show. If Jennifer gets into the Olympia, I still think that those three girls, as well as Ashley Caltwasser are my pick yes, for the top yes, four. Yes, yes. And any four of them are good enough to be the 20 be to win the one Ms. Olympia. Ms. They're Olympia. that yeah. I mean, um, and, and you know what? We're talking about Ashley. Ashley is this year is on a tear. On she's fire. winning everything. She's on fire. And, and you know what? She has won so many shows. And as you, you told me, you told me the stats. And you know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it, but I don't want the internet to go crazy. Yes, to show that she has won. All, did she win 30 shows yet? We're 29 now. I think she's at 29. 29. Okay. I might be wrong. Maybe she hit 30. Uh, either way. That's a lot of shows. She's won a lot of shows. And oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know, when I've talked about that and said, oh, she has to win this many more to beat uh Dexter in terms of oh, most Lord. Men, people oh, got mad at me, like pro bodybuilders were like, well, you can't compare the two. I can compare the two, and then we're talking about IFBB Pro Championships, but of course, a bikini competitor isn't carrying the same muscle as no, no. Mr. Olympia. No. So um, to say one is, if I had to say what, which one is the greater accomplishment, I mean, I can't even say that. And I'm, I'm a, a bodybuilding fan because the accomplishment I, 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 is she is competing by the rules of her division 
just as Dexter is competing in the rules of his division, they both su ex succeeded at the top highest level. In fact, Ashley's won four, three or four Olympia titles. Yeah, 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 four, four, three, three, four. three. Okay, three times. Okay, yeah. multiple ones more than Dexter. So okay. yeah. Ashley Caltwasser is greater than Dexter Janos. Oh my God! I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Going I'm kidding. Down that, down that Lewis people, though. But, but I, you know what? But <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm saying what you're saying, though. The thing is, you know what? I mean, it's two. And it's two different things. Two different but things. For sure, I mean, we. The thing is, people need to understand that we do not compare the legacy of Dexter Jackson. We do not. I mean, this is something that is forget it. Exactly. But as as you said, that girl still has to go and show and win. And she won. Ashley, yeah. I mean, in, in, in her division, she is, in my opinion, she has got to be considered, even though she hasn't won in the past few years, the Olympia title. She's, she's won she's more Olympia titles than anybody, and she's won more titles in general than anybody. If someone's the GOAT of bikini, it's, it's got to be Ashley Caldwell. Yeah, for sure. And by a mile. By a mile. Yeah. Yeah, Angelica, Angelica, I put up there highly as well because she won two years in a row. Um, yeah, so I mean, and, and, and these girls that are competing in the show uh, are, are all amazing. Issa Pacini, to me, when she was when she is on, and she was just a little off last year at the Olympia. Yeah. Genetically, she is like um, sort of like. Like Latoria Watts and uh, Sydney Gillen are in, Gillen, yeah, yeah, yeah. in fit figure. They they are the perfect figure physiques. She's like the perfect bikini physique. She's got this tiny, tiny waist. She's amazing to me. Um, but but she, is, she is. I mean, her structure is unbelievable. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Her waist yeah. is very, very small. Yeah. Um, I was trying to look up how many shows Ashley won, I, and I'm not positive yet, but. She's won more than anybody else in. Yeah, yeah, for, sure, for, sure, for sure. She might be right tied with uh, Dexter at this point uh, in terms of. I most, think so. Something like I that. She's so. high up there. She's got more titles than than uh, Kevin Lebroni or uh, Ronnie Coleman. So again, yeah, but you know what? You know what? I'm not. not I, I, I understand. I can I can hear people groan and moan. Yes. But we're just stating facts. We're not saying that they're greater. We're not stating exactly. facts. Exactly. Exactly. Bodybuilders have got to do more in terms of for uh, sure, for sure, dieting, for sure. the amount of food for they sure. have to eat, the amount of supplements they take, for sure. and Same just thing. the hard ass work you guys do in the gym. Um, not that they don't work hard in the gym, but I mean they're not no, no, no. they're not squatting six hundred pounds or whatever. No, for sure, I, for sure, I know, for sure. So I'm not comparing the two. I'm just I'm just counting the number of titles. In men's physique um, for this show, there's, I'm going to mention two guys, and they are uh, Andre, uh, Andre Andre Ferguson Ferguson Ferguson. and George Brown, to me. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be Andre's show. Uh, to me, Andre's a guy who could be Mr. Olympia. You know, he, he's great. I, I, you know what, Andre, you know what? Andre needs to win this show. He needs to win this show because the Olympia wasn't great for him. He needs to win the show. Because at the Olympia, that's the only title that he hasn't won. Yeah. And at every yeah. at the Olympia, I think he's the winningest men's physique champion. Uh, I think, you know what? I think I heard him say, you know what? Daddy won every show, I think. I think he so. Won a lot of shows. A lot of shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he's, 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 Phenomenal, and and I, 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 both of those guys I like personally as as just as dudes, and and I hope that they're the top two. George Brown was top two at, the, at the Chicago Pro, and he looked great doing it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Very close between he and um, Ramsey's Ram, who won the show. Um, yeah, right. who was just a little sharper, but like I said, uh, I think George is a little more complete. Um, so I had George winning, but that not, a, you know, it was very close. Um, in class, sorry, in, in, in uh, men's physique masters, because they're doing a master's division 40 and over, 
There's a guy who I like named Michael Lynn, who was a, he's competed in men's open. I think he may have competed okay. in 12 before he was briefly coached, briefly coached. I think just for one show for a New York pro a few years ago uh, by okay. Justin Miller. And now okay. he's, now he is doing, um, sorry, this is classic physique masters. So he stepped down the classic physique masters and, and I think he's going to take it. He's got a really nice physique. Um, in classic physique, let me try to find classic physique. You know, there's you know, what I, you know what I heard? I, I didn't tell you. Steve Lawrence is doing classic. He's, he's doing, doing the show this weekend. Yeah. He's doing the show. He, he's doing the show. Um, originally, Jason Brown, who was coached by uh, Justin Miller, was going to be doing the show as well. I was really looking forward to seeing those two guys do the show. I'm not sure what came up with something. And, and now Jason is not doing the show, okay. um, but the glorious is I'm looking at all these names. There's so many names in the show. There's a ton of names, um, but I don't care who's in the show other than, I mean, if Steve, uh, Michael Lynn is doing the show too, the guy who's doing masters, who I think is going to win masters, but I don't think anyone is touching Steve glorious. Um, if Steve is in shape, like shredded, he beats everyone on the planet. He's very, very good. Oh yeah, he is. And you know what, Steve? Oh my God. If Steve can nail it really well, Steve is a legit top three Olympian with the yeah. structure he has. Steve you know could what? he could win the Olympia. Could win the Olympia. Maybe not this yeah, yeah. year. I don't know. No, he could. Rose, we haven't seen him for a while. So I just, I don't know what his, what improvements he's made. Um, but I mean, he's genetically gifted, gifted dude. I oh. think he is no longer with um, Neil Hill. No, 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 he's not. I think, I, he's he was. With, I think he's with Phil Viz. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe I'm know. wrong. Okay. I might be wrong. Okay. Okay. But um, could be, could be. Guys can check that out on Instagram. Maybe that you can find the answer to that question or not. But I think Cause, that's what he's with. Because what's his name? Because he's uh, Steve has been, you know, we've been talking about Steve for about three or four years now. And uh, I mean, Steve, okay, honestly, Steve needs to win that show. I mean, convincingly, he needs to win that show so he can be, you know, going to Olympia, you know, and all that. Yeah. and be a threat in there, you know, for sure. Steve is a guy who is, um, um, in classic physique, he's, I don't want to say he's better than this, but he's hes somewhat of a Lionel Bayecki or a uh, Cedric McMillan, who, when yeah, it comes yeah, yeah. to the big shows, isn't always 100%. No, now, I mean, he's all, like, he's, you know what? He's like he's not fighting. Something That's the like thing. That. Yeah, yeah. Because remember when he when he did the Arnold and it was him against uh, Terence. Terence and, and, and uh, it was, it was him and uh, Alex Cabrera won. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought going into that show, I thought Steve the year before had placed a very close second to George Peterson. To George, exactly. They were out yeah. Oranges, George Peterson, the more complete bodybuilder, or just more yeah, yeah. wow factor to his back and everything. And he was shredded. George George was shredded. Steve was very, his conditioning was very good, but it just wasn't that next level next that level, George no, no. brings or brought to that show. And um, and then the next year, I, I thought, okay, he's going to win the show, no problem, because he has to have a fire lit under him after coming so close. And many people thought he, he did win that show oh, against yeah. George. I, I, was, I thought it was very close, but I think that the judges got it right. But I thought maybe he's going to come in to that show and, and blow people away, and he didn't. He was beaten by Alex oh, no. and Terrence. And Terrence, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if he, you know, gets it together and nails it, like he, he's beating those guys. Uh, and if he nails, nails it for this show... I don't think he needs to be a hundred percent for the show even to win it against these guys. But um, he, if he gets to the Olympia, he's going to have to 
raise his game a oh, bit. And he might have. You know, we haven't seen him for a while, so it's going to be interesting to see. For sure, for sure. Um, in women's bodybuilding, a lot of girls in this show again. Um, and there's two names that jump off the page to me. One is Janine Lankowski, who has placed very well in big shows in the past. I also yeah, think she won. I think she won. Did she won. Uh, she won. She won a show this year. She won. I think Puerto No. Is she won Puerto Rico. No. I think she won. No. Did she win Puerto Rico? I don't know if no. she won the show or she's winning best posing awards. I think she won a show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think she won a show. Yeah, she she's she's very good and she's she's. Honestly, one of the best posing artists I've seen. And I saw her, she competed in women's physique in a New York pro a few years ago. Um, stepped down from bodybuilding temporarily just for that show, I think. Um, and man, her posing gave me goosebumps. It was like watching, uh, it was, it was. she's an artist, really. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, she is someone who I think will do well. And also, um, and this is a protege, this is a, someone who is coached by Justin Miller now and his training partners with Kai Green. Okay. She goes by Ms. Getting It Done, uh, Pauline Nelson, who is 51-year-old grandmother from Brooklyn. She looks crazy good. Uh, you know what? <laughs> and I'll, on that, I'll add someone. Her name is Mona Perley. Uh, look at it, Mona, your name, okay? I will check her out. She's from Canada. Uh, her cat, I'm telling you, she looks nuts. All right. Uh, she, I'm telling you, I'm going to see her. She's coached by Shelby. Uh, she's, she's, Shelby she looks good, bro. She looks good. I'm telling you. Um, she looks very good. She, go I, and I think she gained uh, 10 or 15 pounds. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm telling you. You're going to see her. And talk about posing, she poses well, too. I think, and even then, I think she did the Romania show two years ago, a year ago, and she won Best Poser there. Uh, she won Best Poser in Toronto. She's good, man. She's good. You don't see her often on Instagram, but I'm telling you, go check out her, her picture. I'll check her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's good. She's good. Um, there's fitness in the show. I don't know enough about those girls that are in the show to be able to pick a winner or top three or anything. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, won't talk about that figure. Uh, there's a girl named, like I've talked about her before. They just haven't really liked her look. And that's uh, Rory Ross, who is coached by uh, Jojo and Tafaro and team okay. dark. Uh, I, I like her look a lot. I hope she does well, but I really don't know a lot about of the girls that are in this show. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, a lot of them. I just don't know enough. Yeah, a lot to speak. of girls, a lot of girls on there. There's uh, what's her name? Um, Sandra something. Her name is her name. Um, yeah. I, I got her name on Instagram there. So, oh yes, uh, from from Mexico. Yes, they love her. Yes, they love her. Yes. Sandra Gra Gra Gradulus. Exactly. Gra yes, yes. I'm yes. gonna it wrong, but yeah, they, she does very well on a lot of shows. Personally, I don't like. Her. Like, I'm not. I think she's very, very good. And her muscle bellies are great. She's beautiful. Her prep, she, her, she always looks great on stage. She's a little wide-waisted um, okay. for figure, for me, but they love her. She always does well. And yeah, looking at the names that are in here, she might be the winner of this show. Um, I think there is a figure over 40 as well, who yeah. actually, Rory, Rory Ross today or yesterday, turned 40, but she's not going to do it. I, I think she should okay, do it. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's practically 39. She beat all these 40-year-olds. Um, this bikini, we've talked about bikini. Uh, women's physique. Uh, yes. Elizabeth, Liz Bradshaw jumps off the page to me right away. Yeah, yeah, because no, she got, she got sports in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, she's looking for a win for sure. I mean, she's looking for one, and she's looking, you know what? Um, she wasn't in shape in Chicago. She was. She got beat by girls with better structure. She was shredded. She more yeah, for sure. Right, she was. She was. But she got beat by girls that were at better structure and better flow. But you know what? She's someone that can win that show. She can. 
Yeah, I'm based on condition. She can't. She can't. I, I don't know enough about many of these girls to speak to it. Oh, also in figure though was is is Autumn Swenson back go, jumping back to figure. Yeah. Former uh, Miss International Arnold Classic champion in women's physique. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good. She could she could do really well there. Um, yeah, I, I I'm I'm just gonna pick Liz Bradshaw to win women's physique. Um, but I might be totally off. I don't know. Well, you know, it's not. Oh, it's Brittany not Watts show. is in it. Brittany Watts yeah. is doing the show. I'm sorry, there was a second page of, of competitors. Ah, that I, yeah. There's a bunch of girls in this. And Brittany Watts, man, she looked phenomenal at um, uh, in the Chicago Pro in Tampa. You see, um, uh, it could end up being these two girls. I mean, you know what? If Brittany can come in a little sharper than she was in Chicago, she's my pick to win. She was third place, and uh, Liz was fourth place in right. Chicago. I think they'll be, yeah. be the top two, I, I think, here. Yeah, I got Brittany. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brit Brittany's just got a prettier physique. If she's yeah. on, I don't think she needs – she doesn't need to be as sharp as Liz, I don't think, in order to beat Liz. Um, no. In wellness um, – Renee Jewett, who placed third, is in, show. in in Chicago. Is in this show at the Chicago Pro. Is in this show, as is Mallory Myers, who I think was top five at uh, Chicago. Let me see here. Um, in Chicago Wellness. Let me find it. I think she was in the top five. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, she was fifth, and Renee was third. And I think that they'll be the top two. But it's hard, you know. I don't know. This this division is so new. They all look amazing to me. It's hard for me. Oh, yeah, to... for sure. I, I know you said before the criteria are not set in stone yet because it's just starting. You know. Yeah. So I think that's all the divisions. Um, Again, we spent time on, on men's open and men's 212. But I think that those divisions and the bikini is such a, a, an Olympia or Arnold at least level competition. Roger, Arnold level girl, yeah, for sure, for sure. It's going to be great. Um, it's being live streamed, is it? Yes, it is. It is again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll put I'll put that on my Instagram page. I'll put the link to that. Uh, perfect. Yeah. So definitely going to try to check that out i probably have to work actually this oh my god work it's uh work on oh, work <laughs> yeah yeah the real world but i am <laughs> gonna be i'm definitely gonna be live and in person at the texas pro uh okay. battle of productions promoted by freddie nadu Flexi Brown and um, Angelica Texera. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. never know how to pronounce her name. I think Texera, I think. Texera? Texera? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. a wonderful woman. I, I, I like her a lot. She's so sweet. Uh, she and her husband, Marco, are expecting uh, she's pregnant now. Oh, okay, good. good so good, she's good. not competing this year. Uh, she is moving into the world of promotion and uh, promoting mm -hmm. the Texas Pro. It's going to be a huge show. I am um, Steve Kuklo is going to be in the show for men's open uh, a lot of guys. So anyone that doesn't, whoever doesn't win the Tampa pro, whoever that oh, is, oh, it's, to not Texas. Gonna, it's going to be, it's going to be um, the last qualifier in America yeah. and, and actually in the world for the Olympia. So there's going to be, I think we'll see a lot of names filing into that show. And um, like we said, you know what? With all these the last shows, we said a lot of big names are not going to make it to the Olympia. And right. now we're seeing it now because because we're seeing what's going on in Tampa and Portugal now in, in Texas. We kind of know the top names there because we, we, we said it. Uh, it's going to be hard for a lot of guys to get in there, especially now knowing that there is only two shows left. Right. And in these two shows, you have guys that are 
I mean, bona fide Olympians. Guys yes. that are at the Olympia that plays very well. Guys that do not miss their peak that much. So it's going to be a very hard show for sure. And, yeah, and the, let's not forget the Arnold. Right. Arnold also, the Arnold, no, yeah, forget yeah, about it. The Arnold, only one person is going to qualify, and that's going to be the winner of that show. And like I said last week, um, in the two-time and reigning Arnold Classic champion, William Bonick, is in that show. He's yeah, already qualified because he's qualified, a perennial yeah, yeah. top five finisher at the Olympia. And he's going to be the man to beat at the Arnold. So if he wins that Arnold, which he very well could, that's not a, even a spot that's going to be no, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, it, it's, I mean, you know what, it's gonna, it's a hard year, it's a hard year, but you know, it's exciting for us. It is, now it's really it's, exciting. Yeah, it's exciting for us for Each sure. show gets more and more exciting as we get closer to the Olympia, too. The Olympia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, In Spain, the show that's going on, I think it's the same weekend, I think it's the same weekend as the Texas Pro. Yeah, we both it is, it is. Rolly Winkler and Nathan um, Yasha. Yasha are both doing that show as well as I'm sure a bunch of other international stars from uh, in Europe and, and elsewhere will be doing that show. Uh, but the top two of that show, you, you just told me, are qualifying. Qualify. Exactly, yes, yes, top two. And that could very well be Nathan and Ruli. So, uh, yeah. so you see, it's just getting, uh, you know what, and to say I bought my tickets for Olympia, so I'm in, I bought them. So I'm going to be Good. in for sure. Good. For sure, for sure, for sure. I think I have an in. I think I'm going to be able to get to that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, for sure. Amen. Anyway, but Greg, thanks a lot for joining. Um, my pleasure again. My pleasure. We'll talk again after the show. We'll do a recap. A recap. Talk about who won these divisions and everything. It should be a really good show. Again, like really exciting, especially especially those divisions that the men's open, men's 212. And bikini, if it was just those three divisions, that it's that already be, a good show. Yeah, it's already a great, great show. All right, man. Thanks a lot right, for, bro. for joining me, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching again. This is Michael Bryson and Greg Ulysses, and this is Bodybuilding. Take care. See you guys. Take care.